Hey, how's everyone doing? This is Oz from Oz Mechanics, and today we're going to be working on the 2010 Nissan 370Z. Uh, this is going to be called the Project Z. Uh, so what we're going to do on this one, we're going to put a uh, still in Gen 3 intake into this uh, baby right here. And we're going to show you the process from removing everything, installing it, and showing you the, the outcome in the end. Hope you enjoy. We're going to start off with taking off the front bumper. And let's get going. Hey guys, what's up? This is Dave Lasoy here of Oz Mechanics. I'm out here with Sam Martinez and of course, Aziel Sepulveda, uh, Oz himself. Today we're gonna be installing a Stillen cold air intake out of this 2010 370Z. Uh, Oz will be in this video. Right now we're running the show, he's a little busy with customers. Go ahead and start it up. We're gonna get some before and after notes from the sound. Go ahead, Sam, start it up. Let it purr, baby. The car just Good, good, good. That's what we like to hear. Let's see what this cold air intake gets us. We uh, bought it used today. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and follow the Nissan specs and get everything to where it needs to be. All right, guys, stay tuned. All right, so this is Sam. The first thing we're going to do here is we've got to take off this front bumper. We're going to do that by taking off all these rivets here. There should be a set over here and a set on the back side over here. So we'll get started with that for you guys. If do it, I'm All right, guys, so we're popping out rivets. Uh, <clears throat> it's a pretty simple thing. Uh, first step, of course, is to remove the front bumper. So we're going to get this fascia off here. As you can see, Sam's over here knocking them off. Really simple. You can get a fancy tool. You can get a fancy screwdriver. It doesn't really matter. Boom, just like that. One by one by one. Lots to do. Of course, if you need instructions, uh, Stillen has it on their website, or you can just watch this video, but probably go to Stillen, because we in no way warranty your work, mm -hmm. because we're all as much jackasses here. All right. Not paying you to smile, Sam. <laughs> paying you to work. All right, guys, oh, David here. So we're knocking out. We did the first uh, bunch of ratchets up there, now we're doing it down here. So we're going to remove it all the way down, big line, take the front bumper kit off. Not as difficult as it seems, obviously I have a nice little scratch there, uh, just takes a little time, a little patience. Drop it on the bolts, put them in a nice little pile, we know where they go, and we'll be on the next step. Lots of work going on, Bam. almost got it done, put out the front fascia, boom, look at that. Clean off, good job. What'd you take off on to show the beautiful people? It was this uh, size 10 so millimeter. 10 right here. So it was held on by this. There we go. And after that, we have this little plastic piece that just pops right off. That's it. Let's do the same to the other side and get the bitch off. After we took off the other clip on this side, we're gonna slowly but gently take it off. Try not to add any more scratches to it already. Yeah. <laughs> Lay this down and then we're gonna start going straight into there. Boom, guys. All right. Step phase two. Step two. Step phase two. All right, Oz, why don't you go ahead and talk to us? Let's know what you're doing here, brother. All right, so we already took off the air duct, tube, all that. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna remove this piece right here so we can have a clean shot to towards uh, the front. And that's what we're gonna do next. We ran to a snag here, yeah. uh, but, I mean, but Stillen tells us about it. It's not like we didn't know about it. We are hoping to go in without having to dremel anything. As but, you can see right here, this is the tube that has to go through this this hole and yeah so that ain't happening uh unless if you're really 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 persuasive on prom night that's not happening <laughs> so uh so drum away brother <laughs> nice little circle we're doing that it's a very simple process um still hurts the scene nonetheless so we're going to the left side, we're also going to do the right side, guys. Now remember, and still in physics as well, you do not want to hit your AC lines. So whatever you do, do not hit your AC lines when you dremel. Because you're in a world of fuck. Here we go. And it doesn't have to be the best circle in the world.
got a nice little cut there. Put some debris out. We'll see where we're at right now. Go ahead, Mr. Oz. Okay. We gotta maneuver this. Boom. But well, what we're gonna do, we're probably gonna loosen this up so we can get it all the way in there. And that's gonna be that with this. And then okay. we're just gonna mess around with it a little bit more to get it right right there. Yep. So of course we got Sam over here knocking out other parts. Now remember, you do not ever want to touch this. So don't touch that, ever. All right, so uh, as you can see, we dr uh, dremeled that little piece out, put the tube through there. So now we have our whole tubing system installed. The ma uh, mass airflow sensor and uh, this intake. Now what I'm gonna do, I gotta drill a little hole on that side. But as you can tell, we have the AC line. So this is gonna be a tricky little one and uh, we're gonna try to figure it out. Hopefully we can get it going. All right, so what we're gonna do, because we have the AC line right here and we don't want the, the tubing to actually uh, rub, rub into that. So what we did, we got, there's a little uh, protective sleeve right here. We just took it off and we're gonna glue it onto here. And what that's gonna do is gonna have a little protection on the tubing so we won't have a leak later on in the future. Go ahead and show them what they, uh, you did for the beautiful people there. All right, so now we have it all in. So with everything set up, as you can see, we dremeled past the AC, uh, not through it, put up some comfort for there put up some cardboard, put up all kinds of things. The objective is to keep this pipe off that AC line from bouncing up around when you're driving or when you're hitting some bad curves or anything like that. So what do you think, Sam? Extra 100 horsepower? 10 second car, ready to race for car. Phoenix. Shit. Okay. So I mean, this is how you make a slow car a lot, no, a little less slower. <laughs> because it's still a very slow car. So you can turn it on and let's hear it. Okay. Let's hear the old. All right, we got everything going. Hold our intake is in. He's gonna rev it up. Go ahead, rev it up again. Sounds a little nice. All right, so that, that concludes it. As you can see, it's a little bit off, but yeah. We're trying to work with what we have right now. So there you go. That's uh, that's our little project. Hope y'all like.